The first part to John Legend's All of Me is the introduction and it sounds like this. And we're just going to learn that part first and good news is that's also the same uh, progression for the verse so we'll, you'll be in good shape. Uh, when we get to the verse and even the second half of the chorus has the same progression too. So the most that's most of the song actually. So the first thing you need is an F minor. And so I'm playing it with an F, a C, and an F in my left hand. If you can't reach that, you can drop one of those out. You've got an A flat, a C, another F if you can reach it. And it switches to a D flat. Um, so. Again, for the rest of this tutorial, if you can't reach any of these notes, feel free to just drop out any, any of them, especially if they're doubled. So for that D flat, I'm playing a D flat, an A flat, a D flat, an F in my right hand, A flat, and D flat in my right hand. So, so far we've got F minor to a D flat. Then you're gonna move to an A flat. And I find that it's easiest, since my hand is here, to play my right hand in this in this way, you can drop half this pinky if it's too much, but um, in your right hand, E flat, A flat, C, and E flat, if you can reach another one, and that in your left hand, you're playing an A flat or two, just to give it the sense of that, that that's the root. So you've got A flat, and then you move to E flat, and so your hand's already in a nice position here if you play it like this, with an E flat, B flat, E flat in your left hand, G, B flat, E flat in your right hand. So those four chords are the intro, the verse, and the second half of the chorus. So let me play through you nice for you once more nice and slowly and we'll move on to the next part. So you've got F minor na 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 da da D flat na 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 A flat mm mm E flat mm 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 and for the uh, intro you repeat that section just you play it through twice. I'm sorry. And then you go into your verse, and the verse is the, is the same progression, but the difference is you play through it four times. So that, that section you play through four times. You're, you can do that. I'm not going to play that part for you. Uh, so then you got this pre-chorus section, which sounds like this. Anyway, it goes into the chorus after that. So, Really, that's just three chords. You've got this B flat minor. So um, I'm playing B flats with my left hand, D flat and F with my right hand. Or really, these are the notes that you need for the B flat there, B flat minor. So you've got B flat minor, and that moves to an A flat. So that's just A flats in your left hand, um, C, E flat, and another A flat if you can reach it. And then to an E flat, E flat, B flat, E flat in your left hand, G, B flat, and E flat in your right hand. So you play that little chunk, those little three chords, uh, twice, and that's your pre-chorus. So B flat minor, and the B flat is held for twice as long as the other two chords. I'll show you one more time. B flat minor, three and four, and A flat, E flat. Okay. And then you're gonna move into your chorus. And this is the last, pretty much the last little chunk you need to know. Um, and the chorus is just A flat. <laughs> uh, I'll just show you the chords and refrain from singing. So you've got A flat, E flat, A flat in your left hand, C, E flat, and A flat in your right hand. A, that's your A flat, that's the first chord, and that moves to an, an F minor, and you'll notice that the A flat has a lot of notes in common with the F minor. This uh, A flat and C are already there, so I kind of use those as targets when I'm moving my hand to the next part, and I know that I just have to hit Fs on the outside there, pretty much. So the second chord, that F minor, you've got F, C, F in your left hand, A flat, C, and F in your right hand. That's your F minor. And then you've got B flat minor. So that's similar to, uh, well, yeah, you've played this chord already, but you've got B flats in your left hand, B flat, D 
D flat and F. And then, this is the part that I think is pretty cool actually, you got an E flat, sus4, at least this is how I suggest you play it. So you've got E flat, B flat, E flat in your left hand, you've got an A flat and a B flat in your right hand, and you've got another E flat up here, but the key here is this A flat, and then the next chord, you just move this A flat down to a G, it resolves to an E flat chord. So you've got E flat, sus4, you've suspended the fourth, if that makes sense to you. And amen, oh you kind of end on that E flat. Okay, so everything is the same from the chord before except that A flat becomes a G. So you play through that little chunk twice. Let me show you to you one more time since we're gonna play through it twice anyway. It'll be like a good refresher. So you've got A flat, two, three, four, F minor, two, three, four, B flat minor, one, two, Three, four, E sus four. I'm sorry, E flat sus four, E flat. Okay, so that chunk for is the first half of the chorus. You play through it twice. The second half of the chorus, you already know it. It's just this F minor, D flat, A flat, and E loop, and you play through that chunk twice, and that's your complete chorus. The A flat and up to that E flat that we just played there. So that's really it, and then so for the form, you know, you've got all those parts that I just showed you in order, and then you've got another verse, another pre-chorus, another chorus, another pre-chorus, another chorus, and that's it. The only sort of little tiny catch is at the end of the chorus, at the very last time, you kind of like slow down just a little bit. You do what's called a ritardando, a very small ritardando, right at the end there, where you play that E flat. That last loop is like kind of like this: F minor, D flat, A flat. E flat. Hear how it just like slows down just a little bit at the end there, and you can even like kind of let it fade out at the end. So that's it. I really hope that helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.